Welcome back everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video I posted yesterday. Today is sort of a special day. I have a championship game at the tournament for Tripas, aka Guts. So, we are the defending champs and we're going to try to bring another trophy home. We're actually going to play the same team we beat t about two months ago. I know that team is good. We have a good squad. So it's going to be a good game. Hopefully this time we don't win in penalties because you guys know when it comes to penalties, it's basically all about luck. And I don't want it to go that way. I want it to be a fair game and let the better team win. What's up, G? What you on? Cooling? Sophie was waiting for you. Boy, she's too heavy for you. <laughs> she is heavy. She's a handful. She's heavy like a rock. <laughs> <laughs> but that hair, though. I don't have no. I don't have no hair on top of hair. Okay. I only just put my my hair like like this, and then I put my hair like that, just from the side. Who's, whose hairstyle is that? I don't know. Cool and cool. And tomorrow I'll get a haircut. Sophia, that camera's too big for you, bro. No, no. Oh. She was almost about to throw throw it, but here you can't vlog yet. Yeah, I can't. She wants to. We'll see how it goes. The game's at night. Can't vlog because I have to upload it on on a video. Sophia, that camera's way too big for you. Sofia, baila? Sarah and Sofia. parte de lo que se aporta de aquí, de lo que yo le aporto. Entonces, este, vamos a iniciar la siguiente semana, el que guste, que me hable. Y ya, ya hay como 10, 11 equipos inscritos. Entonces, este... Uh, this thing is dirty. Ain't no surprise, it's driven by, it was driven by a lady. Lord have mercy, I'm burning up. That was not easy being inside that semi. Felt like 100 plus degrees in there, but got it done. Hopefully it's, it's a lot cleaner than it was. 
it was driven by a lady, so. So you guys know what happens when ladies drive a car. They don't keep it clean. They keep the house clean, but they don't keep a car clean. Right now I gotta head to Nashville. Nothing good actually, but you know, family comes first, always. Hope you guys have a blessed day and spend as much time as you can with y'all's family because you guys never know when your last time, when the last time you're gonna see them is. So I always try to do that as much as I can. If I'm not working, I'm always with my family doing, even if it's just the littlest things. But I always try to give them my time, my love. And I hope you guys. Don't do that, that's scary. I don't know how to start this video today. Normally, I'm excited when I start my videos, but today, it's probably the worst day in about four years since the first twins passed away. I, I don't think you guys know that story, but my brother had twins about three and a half years ago, twin girls. But they were born with a illness or disease called mitochondrial disease, and there's no cure for it. So at about when they were born, we didn't even know what that they had it. Nobody knew. Doctors didn't even know. But um, about four months after they were born, they had, they were like they always had a problem with like puking their milk and um. Their stomachs were growing a little bigger than the rest of their body. So it was a little weird, you know, we didn't, but like again, nobody knew what it was about, what the problem was. And then their eyes started changing color, started turning yellow, like on the outside, like right there. And then that's when my brother saw something abnormal and took her to the doctor. Immediately they were rushed to Louisville and from Louisville they were sent to Cincinnati. And they were there for about two months and then they never made it back home. They passed away both at the hospital due to that illness. And here I am t today, three and a half years later, probably almost four. And sitting in the same situation that we were about four years ago. The baby that my brother had made it to a year and two months I think she's still alive right now but she's battling to stay alive right now I've been here all for about five hours and she has not opened her eyes and she keeps on grunting her feet and her arms and her face are, is getting a little swollen she hasn't ate anything they, they just have her on fluids and medications and it's just a horrible situation to be in and we're all here all the family basically the ones that can be here i mean this affects usually the infants or newborn but older people have it too but it's very rare it's not common and then that's why not a lot of people know how to cure or like how to basically take care of it there is no cure for it we understand that but other hospitals like in cincinnati and here in vanderbilt they understand what mitochondria is. In Bowling Green, in the medical center, they really don't know much about it. So they don't know how to really treat it or do anything. That's why they send all these children to, like I said, Vanderbilt or Cincinnati or other places where they have children's hospitals. 